Trivia for Kids, where it's not just for adults anymore. Hello and good day, everybody. Welcome to the next episode of Trivia for Kids, the podcast. My name's Casey. And mine's Ren. And we're ready for trivia. Yes. I'm feeling quizzical today. Let's get quizzical, quizzical. I want to get quizzical. Olivia Newton-John, who sings that song, and I share the same birthday. Anyway, Ren, can you believe it's almost Thanksgiving? No. What are we doing for Thanksgiving this year? We're going to Wisconsin. We are going to Wisconsin. Every other year or so, we meet halfway with our cousins in Michigan. We just stay at a VRBO, and we ho- we have Thanksgiving in somebody else's house. It's kind of fun. We get to see our cousins from Michigan, so that's what we're up to. Excited about that. Mm-hmm. What is your favorite part about Thanksgiving? What is your favorite Thanksgiving food? Oh, that's hard. Pie. Not any other type of pie other than French silk pie. French silk pie. Interesting. Not pumpkin though. Nope. nope what about the whipped else. cream on the pumpkin pie? No, not no pie unless it's French silk. None at all. So the only thing you like about Thanksgiving food is French silk pie, which we don't usually even have all that often. Well, I will have to remember to bring a French silk pie to this year's Thanksgiving just for you, because hey. you won't any, eat anything else. Maybe my favorite still part. Turkey. Oh, you still eat turkey? Well, that's good. Uh-huh. My favorite part is the stuffing. Oh, I love stuffing. And I don't feel like we eat it any other time of year except on Thanksgiving. So what even is stuffing? Like bread and some spices and sometimes veggies cooked up in a heavenly goodness of fluffy bread spiced yum. I don't know. So delicious, I think. You know what else I love? What? Jokes. Ready for them? Yeah. All right. Joke number one comes from listener Will. Thank you, Will. Why did Mickey Mouse go into outer space? Because he forgot his shirt. Because <laughs> he forgot his shirt? Or Mickey, does Mickey have clothes in outer space? Well, I mean, he never wears a shirt, so. <laughs> I don't the know. answer is to find Pluto. Oh. oh. Joke number two comes from listener Luke. Thank you, Luke. What did the Italian say to the man he disagreed with? I don't know. That's Euro opinion. You know, the, That's Euro, a good one, yeah. the Euro is the currency in Italy. Good one. All right. The next joke comes from listener Maxi. Thank you, Maxi. Why did the pelican dine and dash? I don't know. Because his bill was so big. <laughs> Do you know what dine and dash means? It's when you eat at a restaurant and then before you pay, you leave. So you dine on the food and then you dash out the door without paying. So the pelican did it because his bill was so big. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. All right. Our last joke comes from listener Brody. Thank you, Brody. Why couldn't the toilet paper cross the road? Because it kept on getting stuck in crack. Because it was stuck in a crack. Of course. Great one. All right. Thanks for the jokes, everybody. But now it is time for dun 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 dum Trivia. Yeah. Here's how the show works. Trivia for kids consists of five rounds with seven questions each. We will announce the answers at the end of each round. Each new round will have a different category. After the fifth round, we will have the final exam, which will test you on the toughest questions we have covered in the previous rounds. Everyone ready? Let's get started. Round number one. The category is cartoons. Question one. What cartoon features a team of superheroes that includes Cyborg, Beast Boy, Starfire, and Raven? Question two. Which country does Bluey live in? Question three. What color is Dora the Explorer's backpack? Question four. 
Question four. What type of animal is KC in tots? Question five. In amphibia, what is the name of the frog who is Anne's best friend? Question six. Which SpongeBob SquarePants character is always trying to steal Mr. Krabs' secret formula for Krabby Patties? Question seven. In which city do the members of the Paw Patrol live? And now the round one answers. Question one. What cartoon features a team of superheroes that includes Cyborg, Beast Boy, Starfire, and Raven? Teen Titans. Teen Titans, go! Yes, that is correct. Teen Titans, go. All right, question two. Which country does Bluey live in? Australia. She's from Australia. That is correct. Question three. What color is Dora the Explorer's backpack? Like a tan? It's purple. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Question four. What type of animal is KC in tots? Never seen that. Take a guess. Potato. <laughs> Potato? What type of animal? It's tots. She's a koala. KC is a koala. Question five. In amphibia, what is the name of the frog who is Anne's best friend? Sprig. Sprig Planter is his name. And he has a southern accent, Sprig does. Right? No, that's Hopadiah Planter. Hop oh, that's Hopadiah. Okay. Question six. Which SpongeBob SquarePants character is always trying to steal Mr. Krabs' secret formula for Krabby Patties? Is it the little plankton? Plankton! Sheldon J. Plankton despises Mr. Krabs for running a successful restaurant because his own business rarely gets any customers. That is sad. So he's what? Jealous. A villain, yes, but he's jealous. Jealousy is not a good thing. You should be content with what you have. Question seven. In which city do the members of the Paw Patrol live? New York? They live in Adventure Bay. Oh. <laughs> now do you remember? Yeah. Yeah. Round two. The category is weird but true. Question one. What two body parts never stop growing? Question two. What animal is around 30 times more likely to get struck by lightning? Question three. How much does a cloud weigh? Over 10,000 pounds, over 100,000 pounds, or over 1 million pounds? Question four. It must be hungry because our brains are constantly doing what to itself? Question five. What kind of animal once lived 18 months without a head? Question six. True or false? The passengers of the first hot air balloon ride were the inventor's children. Question seven. Who were high heels originally invented for? Anne. 
And now the answer is to round number two. Question one, what two body parts never stop growing? Your hair and your teeth. The answers are your ears and your nose. The ears and nose are made of cartilage, a soft plastic-like substance that continues to grow throughout your life. So your nose gets bigger and bigger as life goes on. Question two, what animal is around 30 times more likely to get struck by lightning? A bat? A giraffe. However, even though they are more likely than humans, the chance of a giraffe being struck by lightning is still very small. So why do you think it's more likely for a giraffe to get struck by lightning? Because they're tall and it can just go through their body. Because they're taller. That's about it. Question three. How much does a cloud weigh? Around 10,000 pounds, around 100,000 pounds, or around 1 million pounds? I don't know. Around 1 million pounds. A typical cumulus cloud that is 1 kilometer by 1 kilometer in size weighs about 1.1 million pounds or 500,000 kilograms. That is roughly the same weight as 100 African elephants. The air that's responsible for creating the clouds keeps them afloat. This air is less dense than the air near the ground, so the cloud rises and floats to the top. So the reason a cloud weighs so much is because each cloud is made up of water droplets and ice crystals, and each of those little pieces of water or ice are spread out throughout the cloud. However, if you were to take all of those things and put them together in one bucket, there would be so many and it would be so heavy, it would weigh over one million pounds. Well, then how do airplanes fly through clouds? Well, because the water droplets are, they can fly through them. Like they're not a solid mass. They're individual little tiny water droplets. So a plane can fly through because it's like rain. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Question four, it must be hungry because our brains are constantly doing what to itself? Repeating itself? Eating itself. Your brain is constantly eating itself through a process called phagocytosis. Phagocytosis is when cells consume smaller cells or molecules to remove them from the system. In the brain, this process helps to keep pathogens out, clear away debris, shape memory, stop infections, preserve gray matter, among a few other things. So our brain is constantly eating itself to try to kind of clean it up and make sure it's healthy and away from infection and gross stuff and help with your memory and things. Isn't that insane? Weird. Weird. Question five. What kind of animal once lived 18 months without a head? Chicken. Yes. A farmer named Lloyd Olson accidentally cut off most of the chicken's head while preparing to kill it for dinner, but somehow left enough of the brain stem intact to allow the chicken to survive for a significant period. The owner would drip liquid food directly into its esophagus with a dropper. The chicken's name was Mike. <laughs> what? what? That is crazy. So to kill a chicken, this is gory, but you cut off their head. That's what you do. And this farmer back in the day tried to cut off old Mike's head and he didn't cut it all the way off. So Mike lived headless. And he would take a dropper and feed it by dropping it right down his throat. 18 months he lived without a head. Question six, true or false? The passengers of the first hot air balloon ride were the inventor's children. True. It is false. The inventors of hot air balloon travel were not brave men. So they sent a rooster, a sheep, and a duck on the first journey. Weird. But true. Question seven. Who were high heels originally invented for? 
Men. Men is the answer. The history of high heels can be traced back to Persian men in the 10th century who wore heels while on horseback so their feet would fit better in the stirrups. Weird. But true. <laughs> Round number three. The category is common theme. All of the answers will lead you to a common theme at the end. Question one. What is the name of the bird that Sylvester the cat is constantly trying to catch and eat? Question two. Gru's loyal followers are known as what? Question three. What is the name of the circular part at the center of an egg? Question four. Bart, Lisa, and Maggie are the names of the children in what long-running cartoon series? Question five. Which large friendly bird lives on Sesame Street? Question six. Which electric mouse is the main mascot for the Pokemon franchise? Question seven. What fruit shares the most DNA with humans? And now the answers to round number three. Guess who's joining us now? Brooks is here. Hi, Brooks. Hi. Question one. What is the name of the bird that Sylvester the cat is constantly trying to catch and eat? I don't know. His name is Tweety. Have you ever heard of Tweety Bird? No? You know the Looney Tunes, the little yellow bird that plays in Space Jam? His name is Tweety. Question two. Gru's loyal followers are known as what? Minions. The answer is the minions. They're the ones that follow Gru. Correct. Question three. What is the name of the circular part at the center of an egg? A yolk. The yolk. That is correct. Question four. Bart, Lisa, and Maggie are the names of the children in what long-running cartoon series? I don't know. Who's Bart? You have a shirt with him on it. Oh, The Simpsons. The Simpsons. Do, 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 do. That is correct. Question five. Which large friendly bird lives on Sesame Street? Big Bird. Big Bird is the large bird. That is correct. Because her name is Big Bird. Well, yes, that's true. Question six. Which electric mouse is the main mascot for the Pokemon franchise? Electric mouse? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Who's the main Pokemon? Pikachu. Pikachu is the answer, of course. He's like a mouse bunny. He is kind of a mouse bunny. I had to, when I saw this question, I had to make sure that mouse was the correct animal because I wouldn't have guessed he was a mouse. He does look like a bunny or something like He's that. Like I don't know. Question seven. What fruit shares the most DNA with humans? Dragon fruit? The answer is a banana. What? Yeah, what? I agree. All right, Brooks. Now you have to think of what the common theme could be with the answers. Tweety, Minions, Egg Yolk, The Simpsons, Big Bird, Pikachu, and bananas. What do all of those things have in common? They're all yellow. They're all yellow! 
that's the common theme. Good job. You got it. Yay. Yay. Round four. The category is world history. Question one. The Pope would know that the first city to reach a population of one million was what? Question two. In what city did American colonists famously dress as Native Americans and dump an entire shipment of East India Company tea into the harbor? Question three. Infamous King of England, Henry VIII, had how many wives? Question four. What did ancient Egyptians use as pillows? Bags of water, animal skin, or stones? Question five. Which German dictator was actually born in Austria? Question six. Eleanor Roosevelt was the first first lady to wear what in public? Question seven. Who was the famous queen of ancient Egypt known for her beauty? And now the answers to round number four. Question one. The Pope would know that the first city to reach a population of one million was what? I don't know. The answer is Rome, Italy. The Pope lives in Rome. Ancient Rome became the first city to reach a population of one million in 5 BC. It would be more than 18 centuries before the second city, London, would reach that milestone in 1800. So Rome was really big for a really long time. Mm -hmm. Question two. In what city did American colonists famously dress as Native Americans and dump an entire shipment of East India Company tea into the harbor? I don't know. Boston. The Boston Tea Party was a political protest by the Sons of Liberty on December 16th, 1773. The demonstrators, some disguised as Native Americans, in defiance of the Tea Act of May 10th, 1773, destroyed an entire shipment of tea sent by the East India Company. The British government responded harshly, and the episode escalated into the American Revolution. Like, I know, I know, like, that part, but I just didn't remember where it was. So when people came over to America, they came from England. And those people were still under the rule of the King of England. And the King of England said, I'm going to tax the tea that I'm going to ship over to America. And they were like, no. We don't want to pay that tax. So they threw all the tea into Boston Harbor as in protest. And because of that, a war started. Well, and among other things, but that was one of the things that they were like, we're going to turn this harbor into a giant vat of iced tea and show you guys. Question three. Infamous King of England, Henry VIII, had how many wives? 17. He had six. 17 would be way a lot, but he had six wives. Three of them were named Catherine. Two of them were named Anne. And the last one was named Jane. So he was married to six women. Half of them were named Catherine. <laughs> I wonder if he did that on purpose. I don't know. I Maybe they hadn't come up with unique names yet. So there was a lot of people named Catherine. So the availability of people named anything any different was too small. So question four, what did ancient Egyptians use as pillows? Bags of water, 
Animal skin or stones? Animal? No. Bags of what? The answer is stones. Stone pillows were commonly used in ancient Egypt. They were often engraved with protective images. Ow. Weird. I think I would try to find another option. Even a bag of sand, since they're in Egypt, would be more comfortable than a rock. <laughs> Jinx. Question five. Which German dictator was actually born in Austria? Hitler. Adolf Hitler. He moved to Germany in 1913 and became a German citizen years later. So, he ruled Germany during World War II, but he was born in Austria. Crazy. Question six. Eleanor Roosevelt was the first first lady to wear what in public? A dress. Pants. Pants. Sorry, I meant pants. Eleanor loved riding horses regularly in the early mornings. One year without time to change before she was due to preside over the annual Easter egg roll, she just showed up in her riding pants. Which back then, women did not wear pants. So she was probably one of the first people to like say, it's okay to wear pants, ladies. So thank you, Eleanor Roosevelt, because I don't like wearing dresses all that often. Question seven. Who was the famous queen of ancient Egypt known for her beauty? I don't remember. Her name was Cleopatra. And she was supposedly beautiful. And she was one of the first women to wear, like, makeup. And she started a bunch of trends and did her hair different. And then all the women were like, we want to be like Cleopatra. So then they started wearing makeup and doing their hair differently. And she was a real trendsetter, apparently. Round number five. The category is The Descendants Movie Franchise. Question one. What color is Mal's hair in the first Descendants movie? Question two. What is the name of the island where the villain kids live? Question three. In Descendants 2... Which character turns into a pirate? Question four. Who is the son of the Beast and Belle? Question five. What is the name of the magical kingdom that Red comes from? Question six. What is the name of the school where the kids of villains go in the Descendants movies? Question seven. What kind of pet does Carlos have in the Descendants movies? And now the answers to the last round. Question one. What color is Mal's hair in the first Descendants movie? Purple. She has purple hair. That is correct. Who is she the daughter of? Maleficent. Maleficent. Yep. Question two. What is the name of the island where the villain kids live? Um, oh, what's it called again? Um, like... Like the Island of the Lost or something? The Isle of the Lost. Sounds like a sad place to live. Well, I mean, when you did terrible things like Maleficent, no. Oh, but that's her kid. The kid doesn't mean that they're necessarily going to be bad just because the parents she are gets bad. That's brought to order. Oh. Question three. In Descendants 2, which character turns into a pirate? Uma? So when that movie came out, you guys used to sing that one song over and over again. What's my name? What's my name? Uma. 
Murder, what's my name? What's my name? Uma feel the power. <laughs> no one's gonna stop us till the world will be ours. What's my name? What's my name? That was a good song. Uma. Question four. Who is the son of the beast and Belle? How do I not know this? Ben. Ben is their kid. I the category <laughs> was Descendants. I was like thinking about the actual movie. Oh. Question five. What is the name of the magical kingdom that Red comes from? I have never seen that movie, so I've... Never You've never seen Rise of Red? Well, I've seen, like, it, like, once. She no. comes from Wonderland. Oh, I knew that one. <laughs> Question six. What is the name of the school where the kids of villains go in the Descendants movie? Ooh. The kids of villains. They go to Oridon Prep. Oh, well, I thought you were talking about still in the Isle of the Lost because there's no Oridon Prep in the Isle of the Lost. So that was kind of a trick question because both the villain kids, after a while, and the kids of the hero characters all go to Oridon Prep. There, we don't, there's not a, there's probably a school on the Isle of the Lost, but we don't know what it is, do we? No. Question seven. What kind of pet does Carlos have in the Descendants movies? A dog. What is the dog's name? Max. His name is Dude. Dude. A dog A dog named Dude because Carlos is the son of... Cruella de Vil. So of course he would have a dog. And now it's time for the final exam. Now remember... You've heard these questions in the previous rounds, but these were the hardest ones we've had. So use your memory and try to think back to what the answers are. Question one. Our brains are constantly doing what to itself? Eating itself. Question two. What fruit shares the most DNA with humans? Bananas. Question three. What was the first city to reach a population of one million? Rome, Italy. Question four. Who were the passengers of the first hot air balloon ride? A rooster, a sheep, and a duck. Question five. How much does a cloud weigh? Over one million pounds. Question six. Who was the famous queen of ancient Egypt known for her beauty? Cleopatra. Question seven. Infamous King of England, Henry VIII, had how many wives? Six. And here come your shout outs. Weird Facts comes from Onyx. Thank you, Onyx. Dora the Explorer comes from Kyliana. Thank you, Kyliana. And here are your birthdays. Our first birthday shout out goes to listener Henry, who is turning seven. Happy birthday, Henry. And we'll say a shout out to his little brother, Jack, too, because he likes to listen. Hi, Jack. Oh, Henry, it's your seventh birthday. Are you going to get a lot of stuff today? Henry, it's your birthday. You are turning seven. We hope it is great and that it is heaven, Henry. Have a happy day. Happy seventh birthday, Henry. All right. The next birthday shout out goes to listener Silas, who turns 11. Happy birthday, Silas. Silas is from Seattle and he loves soccer and he is learning to speak German on Duolingo. Wow. German is a hard language. So good luck with that, Silas. I wish I knew how to say happy birthday in German. I can only count to 10. Hey there, Silas. It's your birthday. We hope it's wonderful and that you are okay. Have the best day ever. You are very clever. Happy 11th birthday, Silas. Hope it's great in your state, mate, Silas. Happy birthday! Silas! 
And our next birthday shout out goes to listener Violet, who turns seven. Happy birthday, Violet. Her and her brother, Henry, listen to our podcast on their way home from school. That's so great. Violet, it's your birthday and you're turning seven. That's so rad and super cool. We hope you had the best day at school and that you were going to celebrate. Violet, happy birthday to you. Hope that you have the best day too. Happy seventh birthday, Violet. And our next birthday shout out goes to listener Maisie, who is turning eight. Happy birthday, Maisie. I think Maisie might be British because when her dad sent me the message, he ended it with cheers. And we don't say cheers near enough in America. So cheers to you, Maisie. Maisie loves dancing, singing, and acting. That is very, very cool. Maisie, it is your eighth birthday, and it's gonna be super, super great. And we hope that you can sing and dance and act, and that you will be on TV someday or in the movies. That would be super cool. Or hope you do whatever you want to do, because you can do whatever you put your mind to. Maisie, happy birthday! Our next birthday shout out goes to listener Carson, who turns six. Happy birthday, Carson. Carson loves Hot Wheels, construction equipment, and his big sister, Lily. Aw, that's very sweet. Oh, dear Carson, it's your birthday. You are turning six years old. We hope that it is super fun and you get Hot Wheels and get to go watch construction workers do some stuff like dig with an excavator. Happy birthday to Carson. You are super cool and awesome. Happy birthday, Carson. Happy birthday, Carson. And our next birthday shout out goes to listener Eva, who turns 11. Happy birthday, Eva. She loves ballet and jujitsu and is really excited to be Clara in the Nutcracker in a few weeks. Way to go, Eva. That is super cool. Oh, and she likes to listen to us with her younger sister, Nora. Hi, Nora. Eva, you are turning 11 and you are going to be in the nutcracker super cool and do some jujitsu on your way to the store happy birthday eva happy birthday and our next shout out goes to listener river who is turning six happy birthday river lives in maryland he loves listening to trivia for kids with his mom's reading lots and lots of books, and American Ninja Warrior. That is awesome. Oh, River, you are turning six years old, and that is super cool. Oh, River, keep reading lots and lots of books when you're in school. And after, happy birthday, River. Hope that six is super great. River, happy birthday. Our next birthday shout out goes to listener Cameron, who is also known as Cammy. Happy birthday. She is turning eight years old. She loves cheer, dancing, and she has a dog named Shadow. Very cool. Cammy, you love to dance. Dance on your birthday. Hope that you do some cheering and play with your dog named Shadow. Dance, Cammy, dance the night away on your birthday and every day to happy birthday hope it's super cool Kimmy, happy birthday and our next shout out goes to listener ollie who is turning seven happy birthday ollie ollie lives in our neck of the woods in omaha he loves to play sports tell jokes and spend time with his sister nora another sister named nora O-L-L-I-E spells Ollie. Have you ever ridden in a trolley? It's your birthday, golly gee. Hope that you can plainly see. We wish you a happy birthday, Ollie. Hope your day is the best, Ollie. 
The next birthday on the list is listener Loie, and she is turning seven years old. Happy birthday, Loie. Loie, you are turning seven, and that is the coolest thing. Loie, we hope that your day is super special and fun. Happy birthday to Loie, and we hope that seven's the best year yet. Happy birthday, Loie! The next birthday shout out goes to listener Brock. Brock turns seven. Happy birthday, Brock. Brock loves Zelda and Pokemon. The Legends of Zelda and Pokemon. Ooh. Happy birthday to Brock. We hope you get some socks and maybe a clock that goes tick and talk. We hope you also get a pet rock, Brock. We hope that you eat out of a crock pot, Brock. Happy birthday! Bye. All right, our last birthday shout out goes to a set of twins. Their names are Bradley and Fiona. Happy birthday, Bradley and Fiona. They turn eight years old, both of them, because they're twins. Bradley and Fiona, it's your eighth birthday. We hope that you get to party and we hope that you celebrate together and we hope that you both get along because you share the same birthday because you are twins so you don't have a choice. Happy birthday, Bradley and Fiona. Happy eighth birthday to you. Happy birthday, Bradley and Fiona. It's Bradley and Fiona. Fiona Man is my favorite song. I could have kept going on and on. All right, Ren, here comes your conversation starter. What were you most excited about to wear again when the weather got cold? Um, pants, actually. What kind of pants? Jeans? No, just like leggings. Ooh, leggings. I love a good pair of sweatpants and some slippers. Thanks for listening, everybody. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Trivia for Kids podcast. If you have not done so already, please give us a five-star review. Please subscribe to our podcast so that you never miss a new episode on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or wherever you get your podcasts. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Trivia for Kids Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can catch all of our live videos. You can email us at Trivia for Kids Podcast at gmail.com. And birthday shout outs are available for Patreon subscribers.